reading vlog. Today is Monday and as you guys know if you've been watching my reading vlogs lately I am currently participating in two readathons. Yes. <laughs> and a third one is starting I think this week. I think on the 10th is when the tarot card readathon starts but right now I'm doing the Olympic Games readathon and the Broadway Babyathon and I actually finished my first book for both of those readathons today, I finished The Mermaid, The Witch, and the Sea this morning by Maggie Takuda Hall. And I read this for Sydney, uh, her Patreon book club. So I finished it like 30 minutes before <laughs> the live show for that, but I watched that earlier and it was really fun. And I ended up really liking this book. I gave it four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. I really liked Maggie Takuda Hall's writing. Like, I'm excited to see more books that she writes. And I think I was talking about this at the end of last week's vlog but there's a character in here and I was pretty sure the way the story was going this character was kind of discovering their gender identity and the fact that they were gender fluid and this is not a spoiler because I don't think gender identity or sexual identity or anything like that is a spoiler because it's someone's identity so they are in fact gender fluid so the character is Flora or Florian they use all pronouns so I'll refer to them by Flora or Florian if I talk about them but just so you guys know if you're confused about who I'm talking about but yeah they use all pronouns which I love seeing and I think it's the first time I've read a character who is gender fluid so I really loved seeing that and I really loved Flora and Evelyn's romance like I, I can see why some people would think that this was definitely insta love like I can see that but also I really liked the relationship and I really loved the ending to this like that's something we were talking about a lot in the live show was the ending I thought it was really beautiful and I'm really happy about what happened <laughs> to some characters and also I will say that this book was a bit darker than I was expecting it is a YA book so it never gets like super dark but there are some trigger warnings so trigger warning for some homophobia for human trafficking for torture. There is one scene in particular that was kind of hard to read that involved torture so be wary of that and there's also mention of rape in this book so just keep those in mind if you're planning on picking this up but I would highly recommend this book and I'm so glad that Sydney chose it for her book club because like I had heard of this book before but I was never really planning on reading it so I'm happy I read it because of that because I really liked it so yeah four stars. So aside from that I don't really have too much to update on but I will say that for this vlog, I won't be vlogging tomorrow because I'm doing a 24 hour readathon tomorrow. So I'm gonna do a separate vlog for that and then I'll come back to this vlog on Wednesday. So I'm actually gonna go. <laughs> I don't think there was any. Oh, actually, I just thought of something. Something I forgot to mention in last week's vlog was they announced like the results of the whatever a thon and middle grade monarchs won. I was so happy and I also, I I wasn't expecting my team to win because it seemed like it was the team with the least amount of people but, and I mean, it <laughs> turned out that it was but the way they did it was like the amount of points on average per person from each team and apparently Middle Grade Monarchs got the most points per person so we won, which I'm very happy about so I just thought I would share that but yeah, so I'm probably gonna go, what time is it? It's almost seven, I still have to, sorry, I just hit this. I still have to finish editing last week's vlog because I wanna I wanna post it tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna go finish editing that and then maybe try to sleep a bit before the 24 hour readathon starts. But, oh, also, <laughs> I am planning on starting Priory of the Orange Tree tomorrow. I guess technically tonight, but 
yeah i doubt i'll read the whole thing tomorrow and that's not really my goal either like unless i'm like super enjoying it don't want to put it down but i have a feeling i'll be a bit confused and a bit overwhelmed so i'm gonna like read that as my main read but i might read the graphic novel i was planning on reading and maybe start something else in between we'll see how that goes so stay tuned for that to find out how that goes but yeah i'm gonna go now i actually should film the intro to that vlog so i think i'm gonna do that so i'll see you guys on Wednesday. I guess I'll let you know how the readathon went, but you'll see that in the vlog. So I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay, bye. Hi guys. It is Wednesday now, and I have a very exciting package to unbox. I don't know if you could see, <laughs> but my Stranger Dreamer special editions from Lit Joy Crate finally came. This was a birthday present for me from my mom and I ordered them I think in March and it's finally here. These shipped a while ago and it was taking a while for this to get here so I went to track the package and for some reason I went to Germany first <laughs> and these came from the states so I don't know what happened. I don't know why I went to Germany but it's finally here. The package is kind of messed up so I'm like a little concerned that it's gonna be damaged but I'm sure they packaged it well. <laughs> I hope so we're gonna unbox it so let's go <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm so <laughs> I'm so nervous please don't be damaged or I will cry oh my god I forgot they come in like a little like case oh my gosh so excited so here I'll show you oh my god oh my god <laughs> so the case it comes in is the miracles for breakfast book which if you've read Stranger Dreamer it's the book that Laszlo carries around especially at the beginning of the book so like the case is meant to look like the book can you see oh my god and then Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. I don't want to hurt the books. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing looks damaged, which is great. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did I take it all off? Yes. Okay, so it looks like maybe like a tiny bit. I don't know if you can even see that. It's like a tiny bit bent at the top, but like it's fine. As long as the books are okay, I'm like so scared. <laughs> okay, so we see the spines. They're so pretty. Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So first It's so pretty. Okay. First we have Strange Dreamer with these like beautiful like I don't even know what to call these. Are they still sprayed edges if they look like this? <laughs> Here, can you tell if they're like silver shimmery and this is the cover with Lazlo and then this is the back I think this is him and Zazma I'm pretty sure like in his library back home so we have that and then oh my god let's look inside oh my god <laughs> oh my god so we have this wait covering it oh my gosh look how stunning this is oh my god. And then the back. <gasps> like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I think this illustration is my favorite. And then I know there's, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and so in these editions, Lainey Taylor's like written notes inside. So whenever I reread this, which maybe, maybe should be soon, I, don't know. I can read her annotations. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know there's an illustration somewhere in here. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my god. Like, look how stunning. Look how stunning. 
and I think it's signed also that me yeah so it has this look at how pretty and it's signed oh my gosh I can't <laughs> so yeah so that's strange dreamer and then we also have muse of nightmares <laughs> there's my lady sarai oh my god so look how also the back like look how beautiful this is and then <gasps> Ooh, this is stunning can you see and then the other side <laughs> stunning stunning look oh my god and then inside where is the picture that's inside i know the picture is i feel like there's more that i'm just forgetting oh my god so oh my god <laughs> so pretty that's nova and cora can you see? Oh, all of a sudden it's like getting dark outside. Thank you. Oh my god. It's so cute. Oh, so there's a bookmark. Wait, let me let me take it out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, so it's a bookmark with Lazo and Sarai and there's different quotes between them. What a perfectly delightful shade of blue. Oh my god. I love it. I don't know how well you can see. I don't want to ruin the focus right now, but there it is. And then there's also this print. Oh yeah, so the art on the bookmark is by Sarah Conradson. And then there's also this print of all the children. Um, okay, so let me tell you the artists. So the cover art for both books was by Tom Roberts. The slipcase was Jane Tibbetts and AJ Frenna. The end pages were by Jorge Has Jacinto, Jacinto, I'm not, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. The tippin' pages are by Hosu Hernes. I'm so sorry. The, oh, those are for the Strange the Dreamer tippin' pages. The Muse of Nightmare tippin' pages were by Sofia Volovic. And then AJ Frenna also did the signature pages. And then this artwork was by Devinel Kurtz. I'm so sorry if I said any of those names wrong, but oh my god. I'm so happy so so here they are so stunning I can't wait to reread these and like read these copies and see all of her annotations oh my god I've been waiting for these for so long I'm so happy they're here Lasso's barking <laughs> but I'm gonna display these oh my god I gotta figure it out how I'm gonna display these that's a problem for after Darian um but yeah so very exciting yay okay so aside from that <laughs> it's Wednesday and I obviously did the 24-hour readathon yesterday. I'm pretty sure this vlog will go up before that, so stay tuned for that vlog. But without spoiling that vlog, I am now in the middle of these two books. I started both The Last Time We Say Goodbye and Priory of the Orange Tree. So I think my plan is to finish this book first because I have about 150 pages left of this and I figure like there's a bird just yelling outside my window. <laughs> But um, I figure like I'll just finish this and then I can focus solely on Priory and as you can see Wait, let me hold this better. As you can see like this is how much I read yesterday I made a pretty good dent in it. So that's very exciting. So yeah, I just wanted to unbox that for you guys I thought it would be fun to do that on camera, but I'm so excited to have them. Oh my god <laughs> The readathon went well. I am very tired today. I literally woke up from a nap like 20 minutes before I filmed this clip so Apologies if I seem a little out of it, but yeah, so Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, I still need to film the like outro for the 24-hour readathon So I'm gonna do that now and I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Hi friends It is Thursday now and I actually have a reading update Wow <laughs> Ugh, I might seem a little out of it because I've had this cute little headache for most of the day today and it's just like, you know those headaches that are like, cause I get headaches fairly often, like at least like a couple days a week probably. And sometimes they're like super debilitating, like you just want to kind of die. But sometimes they're like, they're not too bad, but they're just so annoying and like they hurt and you just want to go away. I mean, that's every headache, I guess, but like it could be worse, but also it's like, just go away. But anyway, so... I also find headaches like tire me out like I feel really tired anyways no one cares so 
<laughs> I finished a book last night. I finished The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand, which I realized I don't think I have said in this vlog what this is about. I know I said it in my 24 hour readathon vlog because I did start this during that, but I don't think I said it in this vlog. So basically this follows this girl named Lexi, Lex, Lexi, Flex. And before the book starts, her brother had recently committed suicide. And so she's kind of just dealing with her grief. She lives alone with her mom because her dad had left them a few years ago. And she's also dealing with the recent breakup uh, that she went through. So she's going through a lot right now and Obviously from that synopsis you can probably tell this book is pretty sad, but oh my god <laughs> This book was so sad like I knew obviously I knew it was gonna be sad One of the things I was worried about is that like often with sibling relationships specifically with like brother sister relationships I just always get emotional because I have a really close relationship with my brother and like I'm going off on a tangent But I remember seeing the movie the lucky one like that's based off the Nicholas Sparks book and this isn't a spoiler, like, but the main girl, like, her brother had passed away. And I cannot watch that movie. Like, I saw it once and I was like, I can never watch this movie again. Also, it's not a very good movie, so... <laughs> but, like, her dealing with the grief of losing her brother, like, that was way too much for me. So I knew this was gonna be sad and, oh my god, was it sad. I was crying so much last night reading this because, like, the whole book is sad. Like, there's just this overwhelming sense of, like, sadness and grief and depression throughout the whole book. But at the end of the book, you find out something about the night that her brother had passed away and... And it's like, it's not even something surprising, like, it's probably something you can even guess. Like, I, I didn't read it and I was like, oh my god, what a plot twist. Like, it's not like a shock or anything, but it's just like information on something. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it, but like, I guess just seeing it on the page and like learning more information, it just broke my heart so much. So this is definitely a hard book to read and obviously heavy trigger warnings for suicide. Like, they talk about it a lot in this book. So definitely if that's a trigger for you, maybe stay away from this book. But I ended up really, really liking it. Honestly, I gave this book four stars. I think it would have been five stars. There was just a few like jokes in here that I didn't like that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Like, I think I said this in my 24 hour readathon vlog, but there was one joke about like Native Americans and it was just so, I mean, first of all, it was just so unnecessary and also just like, just really weird and out of place and also like I don't know I didn't like it and this book was written in 2015 which obviously isn't that long ago but I feel like stuff like that was like more common to see in media so I don't know that just there was just a few little moments like that that I was just like mm, I don't love that but aside from that I really loved this book I loved this so much more <laughs> than The Afterlife of Holly Chase which is the other book I've read from Cynthia Hand I definitely recommend this book if you can handle it but Oh my god, it was so sad. So yeah, I'm happy I read this. So I finished that last night and then today I've had a pretty busy day. Well, more of a busy morning. I worked out this morning and then I was going to join Sydney Sprints on her channel today. So I walked to Laszlo before I went to work out and then I worked out and then I rushed home to shower. So like my morning was a bit hectic, but then I joined the Sprints and it was so much fun. I love First of all, I love Sydney, obviously. We love her, she's amazing. But like the group of people we had today, like they're just all people I love so much. Like Sydney obviously was there, it was on her channel and Lisa and Rachel and Casey came for a bit and Steph came for a bit and Taylor also, she's doing our Priory Butter Read with us. Like she was also there, like, oh my God. <laughs> I just had so much fun and I always laugh so much. Every time I do sprints on Sydney's channel, like, Oh my god, I had a really good day, so that was really fun. Did I get any reading done? No, because <laughs> I was editing a video that I had wanted to finish editing yesterday, but then I fell asleep, so I didn't. I really didn't think I had that much more to edit, but I guess I did because it took me like the whole sprints to finish editing it, and then I also did my thumbnail, and then it's still processing now. It's been processing for a while. So I'm hoping it hurries up because I would like to post it tomorrow. So I spent the sprints doing that. So I haven't read anything yet today. I'm hoping to read at least some of Priory tonight. I don't know how much I'll be able to read. Hopefully this headache goes away because I have a bad feeling if my head hurts and I try to read this, it's not going to go well. <laughs> but I definitely want to continue this because the faster I read this, the faster I can get to the other books on my TV. But I have read three books so far this month and it's only the eighth. So we're doing okay. I don't know. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go read this, but I'll probably first probably watch some haiku and then also eat some ice cream <laughs> and then read. It's also been raining, which is great for the vibes, but for some reason, Lazo, like, if the weather is not sunny or just like what he considers normal, if it's raining or there's thunder, well, especially if there's thunder, but like, if it's raining, he's just like, mm -mm. <laughs> so he's been barking a lot today. <sighs> so yeah. <laughs> Which hasn't helped my headache, but that's fine. So I'm gonna go and I will hopefully update again tomorrow. So yeah. Okay, see you later. <laughs> said Friday but it's Saturday um do I have much of a reading update I guess I read a bit more of Priory of the Orange Tree over the past few days but I'm only at like page like 270 now I think I haven't read that much but I'm still really enjoying it like I don't want to say I don't want to say I'm loving it yet because I'm worried that there's still like I don't know. I'm so tired. <laughs> I worked today, so my brain is fried. How many pages are left? 500 and something. So there's still lots of time for this book to go downhill, but so far I'm really enjoying it. Like I've said before, I find it definitely not as confusing as I thought it was going to be. Like I do get overwhelmed by all like the names of the different places and all the character names and all like even the minor characters. Like I'll read their name and I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're not important, but what if you are and I should probably remember your name? So yeah, so there are some parts where I'm just overwhelmed because I'm like, what are all these words? I don't know. <laughs> but so far I'm really liking it. So that's good. Something very sad happened in a part I read yesterday. I was so sad. So that's my reading update. Not too much to report on. But today is the start of the tarot card readathon. So this morning I picked my first tarot card for that. Which, by the way, I'm on Jess's team. Jess from Book Past Bedtime, which is Team Wands, I think. And the thing with her team is that like every team kind of has like a different advantage and disadvantage that they get. And our team's advantage is that we're allowed to have already started books before the readathon started as long as you are less than 50% of the way through, which I am because it's a long boy. So that's the great part of our team because I don't, I want priority to count. So I was really hoping that like the first card I pulled I could use priority to count for. And the card I pulled was the Ten of Cups and each each like um, card, <laughs> each card has a different prompt, which is amazing. Oh my god, I'm tired. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so I pulled the Ten of Cups and the prompt for that was to read a book with a happy ending. And I do not know if <laughs> the end of Priory is a happy ending and like, I kind of thought since there's so many different characters I figured like for at least one of the characters it must be a happy ending for someone especially since it's a standalone but I asked Instagram on my story I put a poll and I was like does Priory have a happy-ish ending and most people said yes there were I think three people said no but there were like 18 people who said yes so I'm gonna take their word for it so I can use it to count for that which is great but yeah, so that readathon is starting today. In terms of the other readathons I'm doing, which to refresh all our memories, I'm also doing the Olympic Games readathon. I'm on Team Apollo and I've done two prompts. Yes, two prompts. I wasn't able to fit the last time we said goodbye into any of the prompts, but there was one book I read during my 24 hour readathon that I fit. But you have to watch that video to find out what it was. <laughs> and yeah, now we're in Priory. P Priory. And I can't remember what I'm using, what prompt, w b b b words, I can't remember what prompt I'm using for that, but I'll figure it out. And then there's also the Broadway Babyathon, which again, I wasn't able to fit the last time we say goodbye in any of those prompts either, so I'm just doing great <laughs> with all these readathons. But I mean, it's fine. They're just for fun. It's good. Um, okay. Oh my god, you can like really tell how tired I am. Anyways, so I'm gonna go relax for a bit. I'm probably- oh, I have another update. I have a very important life- like, I have a very important life update. I finished haiku last night. 
I don't know what to do with myself now. <laughs> the ending, so first of all, the end of season four was just so stressful. Well, all of season four was stressful, but like, the end of season four, the last few episodes were so stressful, but like, the way that things happened, it was so perfect. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I I have a few, well, I have a lot. I, I have a list of a lot of animes that I want to watch, but if you have any more recommendations, I will always be taking recommendations. I don't know what I'm going to start yet. I have to see what I feel like, but I need some time to mourn haiku. I mean, I know there's going to be more, but like, we don't know when. I don't know. I want to see my boys. I miss them. Anyways, I miss Kaguya. Okay, so I think that's all the update I have. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I'm tired. Um, okay, I'm gonna go relax and hopefully read a little bit, but I'm hoping tomorrow to read a lot. But I always say that, and I will just see how it goes. The only thing I have planned tomorrow is that I want to film a video. But aside from that, reading. That's what I want to do. So, mark my words. Don't be ready tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I don't know what kind of update this was. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hi guys. It is Sunday now and I just filmed a video, which I can't tell you what it is yet, but it's something very exciting and I'm excited. It should be up on Friday, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, so it's pretty late in the day. It's almost six o'clock and I did actually get a decent amount of reading done today. I read for like a few hours, but I only read I think like 70 or 80 pages because Priory is still definitely like a slow moving book, I guess. Like, I mean, I guess it is slow paced, but I'm just like really trying to take my time and understand what's going on because it's still a lot of information. But I think it's safe to say now that I am really loving this book. Like, I'm just so interested in every single character's story. Like, even though I don't love every single character, like with every different point of view chapter we get, I'm, I mean, some chapters end in cliffhangers and then you don't go get back to those same characters like a few chapters later. So I'm like, oh my God, I want to know what's going to happen. But at the same time, like, I'm like, okay, but we're going back to them and I want to know what's going on with them. So everything's fine. <laughs> like I'm really interested in each character's story and I'm interested to see how they're all going to intersect. I mean, we can kind of see like the very little ways they all intersect right now, but I just have a feeling they're all going to converge eventually and it's gonna be great but I'm really liking this book like I just want to go back and keep reading it so I'm definitely gonna try to read more tonight because I'm really liking it I'm around 350 pages in now so I think I'm making pretty decent progress but yeah I'm very happy that I'm liking it and I mean I'm still getting confused sometimes but for the most part I'm just really enjoying it and I really love Eid and I am starting to see where the sapphic relationship is going to play in and I'm very excited and I love the dragons <laughs> obviously and there's some like there's already been some pretty sad things that ha have happened already and I'm like oh no so if like those things have already happened I'm scared for the ending but people on Instagram said that it has a happy-ish ending so I am trusting them, but I am really hoping to definitely finish this in next week's vlog, so stay tuned for that. But I think that's everything I wanted to say. But aside from that, I don't think there's anything else I needed to update you on. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have watched till the end, leave an orange emoji or a tree emoji because of the orange tree. So leave an orange or tree emoji or both, whatever you want. <laughs> down below if you've watched till the end but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon with another video soon bye, bye.